You can work out nonstop and hit your protein goals daily, but if your diet lacks fiber, your muscles will not grow, especially for adults above 50 to 60 years old. I know that you've been told that protein is the most important thing to consider when you are looking to build muscle, but this is completely false media propaganda. Everyone neglects the most important thing you need to build muscle, and that one thing is fiber, not protein. That is because a lot of seniors don't know that a lot of protein-rich foods have little to no fiber. Most seniors also make the mistake of thinking chia seeds have all the fiber they need. So they just soak a few spoons daily and think that that is enough. But here's the real truth. An adult needs about 20 to 38 grams of fiber daily. But guess what? One spoon of chia seeds has way less than that. Which is why in this video I will tell you two sources of fiber that not only have X more fiber but have more important vitamins and nutrients important for muscle building in seniors. I will tell you the second best one first as you can find it anywhere and then the best of them all last. I will also tell you five habits that you are currently doing that are killing your muscles. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so now. Let us begin. Number two, avocado. One medium-sized avocado contains approximately 10 gram of fiber, while one tablespoon of chia seeds has only about 4 gram. Now, fiber plays a crucial role in digestion by promoting healthy gut bacteria and improving nutrient absorption. For seniors looking to build muscle, this is essential because when your digestive system works efficiently, your body can actually absorb and utilize the protein you're consuming. Without adequate fiber, protein just passes through your system without being properly absorbed, which means all those expensive protein shakes and chicken breasts aren't doing much for your muscle growth. Here's what most seniors don't know about avocados. Unlike chia seeds, avocados are packed with potassium even more than bananas, containing about 975 milligrams per avocado. They're also rich in vitamin K, folate, and healthy monounsaturated fats. These nutrients work together to support muscle protein synthesis and reduce inflammation in aging muscles. The potassium in particular helps prevent muscle cramps and supports proper muscle contraction during workouts. Research has shown that older adults who consume adequate potassium alongside their protein intake experience better muscle mass retention and improved muscle function compared to those who focus on protein alone. The ancient Aztecs of Central America actually loved avocados, and they discovered that warriors who consumed avocados regularly had greater strength and endurance. They noticed that the fruit not only sustained their energy, but helped them maintain their muscular build well into their later years. I want to warn you seriously, however, while avocado is great for muscle building, there are certain habits that harm you and prevent you from building muscles, and I will be revealing them later in this video. And you can get the full benefits from avocados by enjoying them this way. For breakfast, simply mash half an avocado onto whole grain toast and top it with a poached egg for a fiber and protein packed start to your day. For lunch, Slice up an avocado and add it to your grilled chicken salad with leafy greens and pumpkin seeds for an extra nutrient boost. And for dinner, blend avocado into a creamy pasta sauce with garlic, lemon, and herbs served over whole wheat pasta with grilled salmon on top. These simple preparations ensure you're getting that daily fiber your muscles desperately need to grow. But if you depend on only avocado for fiber to build muscles, you may not see any visible result if you are not eating the next fiber-rich food with it. That is because this food in particular works amazingly when you combine it with avocado and they grow your muscles very quickly. Number one, sweet potatoes. One medium-sized sweet potato packs about 12 gram of fiber. And remember, one tablespoon of chia seeds only gives you around four gram. But here's the game changer. Sweet potatoes deliver something chia seeds simply cannot. Complex carbohydrates that fuel your workouts and replenish muscle glycogen stores after training. What most seniors overlook is that sweet potatoes are loaded with beta routine, which your body converts into vitamin A. Plus, they contain magnesium and vitamin C. Magnesium is critical for muscle relaxation and recovery, preventing those painful cramps that stop many older adults from staying consistent with their training. 
Vitamin C supports collagen production, which strengthens the connective tissues around your muscles, reducing injury risk as you age. Studies have demonstrated that seniors who include complex carbohydrates with adequate micronutrients in their diet alongside protein show significantly faster muscle recovery and greater strength gains than those who rely on protein and fiber alone. The Okanawins of Japan, famous for their longevity and remarkable physical vitality into old age, made sweet potatoes a cornerstone of their diet for centuries. They observed that their elders who ate sweet potatoes daily maintained muscular strength and mobility far longer than those in neighboring regions, attributing this to the root vegetable's ability to support sustained energy and digestive health. So how do you enjoy sweet potatoes throughout your day? Start your morning by baking sweet potato rounds in the oven until crispy, then top them with mashed avocado and scrambled eggs for a powerhouse breakfast. At lunchtime, cube roasted sweet potatoes and toss them into a quinoa bowl with black beans, diced avocado, and a lime dressing for maximum fiber and nutrients. Come dinner, make a hearty sweet potato and lentil stew with spinach and tomatoes, serving it with a side of sliced avocado to double down on that fiber intake. Your muscles are craving, Avocado delivers healthy fats and potassium for muscle contraction and nutrient absorption, while sweet potatoes provide the complex carbohydrates and magnesium your muscles need for energy and recovery. Together, they work like a tag team to fuel your workouts and rebuild your muscles from the inside out. The five habits that destroy muscle building. But here is the shocker. What if I told you that eating avocado and sweet potatoes will still not build muscles for you if you continue to do the next three habits I want to discuss? Yes, the last one is very common. I am sure you don't know how bad that habit is for your health, and you probably do it daily. These habits silently destroy your digestive system, prevent your body from absorbing the nutrients you're consuming, spike your cortisol levels, which breaks down muscle tissue instead of building it, disrupt your blood sugar balance, making it nearly impossible to maintain energy for workouts, and accelerate bone density loss, which weakens your entire muscular keletal system as you age. After examining countless research papers on senior nutrition and observing hundreds of older adults who can't seem to build muscle no matter what they eat, I've discovered the three most damaging daily habits that destroy your body's ability to use fiber for muscle growth that you need to stop immediately. Habit one, not getting enough sleep. The first habit you must eliminate before consuming any high fiber meal is not getting enough sleep. You may not think much of this, but this is a serious issue. You need at least seven to 10 hours of quality sleep every night. When you don't get enough sleep, your body produces less growth hormone, which is essential for muscle repair and building. Sleep deprivation also increases cortisol, um, a stress hormone that literally eats away at your muscle tissue, breaking it down faster than you can build it. Your body does most of its muscle recovery while you sleep, so cutting your rest short means all those fiber-rich foods and workouts are going to waste. Research has shown that seniors who sleep less than six hours per night experience up to 30% less muscle protein synthesis compared to those who get adequate rest regardless of their protein and fiber intake. I had a client, Sam, who was 67 years old. She came to me frustrated because she was eating right, exercising regularly, and following all my fiber recommendations, but she wasn't seeing any muscle growth. After talking with her, I discovered she was only sleeping four to five hours a night because of stress and poor sleep habits. Within three months of improving her sleep quality, Sam went from struggling to lift light weights to confidently doing resistance training with noticeable muscle definition in her arms and legs. Her energy skyrocketed and she finally started seeing the results she'd been working so hard for. So how do you improve your sleep? First, establish a consistent bedtime routine. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends, to regulate your body's internal clock. Second, avoid screens and bright lights at least one hour before bed and instead try reading or gentle stretching to signal your body that it's time to wind down. 
Number two, the second habit you need to break, especially if you eat fiber-rich foods and other muscle-building foods, is smoking. When you smoke, you're starving your muscles of oxygen because nicotine constricts your blood vessels, reducing blood flow to muscle tissue. This means all those nutrients from your avocados and sweet potatoes can't reach your muscles efficiently. Smoking also increases inflammation throughout your body, which accelerates muscle breakdown and slows down recovery after exercise. Even worse, it depletes your body of vitamin C and other antioxidants that are crucial for collagen production and muscle repair. Research has demonstrated that seniors who smoke lose muscle mass up to 40% faster than non-smokers and their muscles are significantly weaker even when they consume adequate protein and fiber. I had a client, Robert, who was 62 and had been smoking for over 30 years. He couldn't understand why he felt so weak and tired all the time despite eating well and trying to stay active. His muscle tone was poor and he had constant joint pain. After our first consultation, I helped him understand how smoking was sabotaging everything he was doing right. It took him six months, but Robert finally quit smoking completely. The transformation was remarkable. Within a year, he had gained noticeable muscle mass. His endurance improved dramatically, and he told me he felt 20 years younger. He went from barely being able to walk upstairs to hiking with his grandchildren every weekend. So how do you quit smoking? First, replace the smoking habit with a healthier routine. Every time you feel the urge to smoke, drink a glass of water, or go for a short walk to distract your body and mind. Second, seek support from a quit smoking program or support group where you can connect with others going through the same challenge because accountability and encouragement make all the difference in breaking this addiction. If you think these are shocking, wait till you hear the last one. The third habit you should never do before eating fiber-rich foods is taking caffeine on an empty stomach. When you drink coffee first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, you're setting yourself up for muscle-building failure. Coffee triggers a massive cortisol spike, which is your body's stress hormone, and on an empty stomach, this cortisol surge breaks down muscle protein for energy instead of preserving it. The caffeine also increases stomach acid production, which damages your gut lining over time and impairs your ability to absorb fiber, vitamins, and minerals from the foods you eat later. This means even if you have your avocado toast and sweet potato bowl afterward, your body can't properly extract the nutrients it needs for muscle growth. Research has found that seniors who consume caffeine on an empty stomach experience significantly reduced nutrient absorption rates and elevated cortisol levels that can remain high for hours, leading to accelerated muscle wasting and increased fat storage around the midsection. I had a client, Linda, who was 58 years old and religiously drank two cups of black coffee every morning before eating anything. She was doing everything else right, eating fiber-rich foods, exercising, getting good sleep, but she couldn't build any muscle and constantly felt bloated and exhausted. When I discovered her morning coffee habit, I immediately knew what the problem was. I advised her to stop drinking coffee on an empty stomach and switch to healthier morning beverages. Within just two months, Linda noticed dramatic changes. Her energy was stable throughout the day. Her digestion improved completely, and she finally started building visible muscle tone in her arms and legs. She told me she felt like a fog had been lifted. So what should you drink instead? Start your morning with apple cider vinegar with the mother mixed into warm water with cucumber slices and fresh lemon juice. This alkalizes your body, supports digestion, and primes your gut to absorb all that fiber you'll be eating. Another excellent option is fresh ginger tea, which reduces inflammation, aids digestion, and supports muscle recovery without spiking your cortisol. You can also try warm lemon water with a pinch of turmeric for its anti-inflammatory benefits that protect your muscles as you age. Habit four, drinking alcohol regularly, especially in the evenings. When you consume alcohol, even just one or two glasses of wine with dinner, you're sabotaging your muscle building efforts in multiple ways. 
Alcohol dehydrates your muscles, interferes with protein synthesis, disrupts your deep sleep cycles where most muscle recovery happens, and depletes essential B vitamins that your body needs to convert fiber and nutrients into usable energy. Research has shown that seniors who consume alcohol three or more times per week experience up to 25% slower muscle recovery and significantly reduced muscle protein synthesis, even when their diet is otherwise perfect. I had a client, George, who was uh, 65 and couldn't understand why he wasn't gaining any muscle despite eating all the right foods and exercising consistently. After some conversation, I discovered he had a nightly ritual of drinking two glasses of red wine with dinner, thinking it was healthy for his heart, once he cut back to drinking only once or twice a week. The changes were incredible. Within three months, George's muscle mass increased noticeably, his sleep quality improved dramatically, and his energy levels were higher than they'd been in years. So what should you do? First, limit alcohol consumption to special occasions only, no more than once or twice per week maximum. Second, if you enjoy an evening beverage, replace alcohol with herbal teas like chamomile or passion flower, which actually promote relaxation and better sleep without interfering with muscle recovery. Habit five, eating large meals late at night, especially within two to three hours of bedtime. When you eat heavy meals close to bedtime, your body has to work overtime digesting food when it should be focused on muscle repair and recovery. This elevates your body temperature and keeps your digestive system active, which disrupts the deep sleep stages where growth hormone is released. Late night eating also causes blood sugar spikes and crashes that trigger cortisol release, breaking down the very muscle tissue you work so hard to build during the day. Studies have demonstrated that seniors who eat their last meal at least three hours before bed experience 40% better muscle recovery and significantly improved sleep quality compared to those who eat late. I had a client, Patricia, who was 61 and struggling with both muscle loss and poor sleep. She was eating dinner around 9 p.m. every night and going to bed by 10.30 p.m. Despite eating fiber-rich foods and exercising, she felt weak and exhausted all the time. I advised her to move her dinner to 6 p.m. and have only a light snack if she was hungry later in the evening. The transformation was remarkable. Within six weeks, Patricia was sleeping through the night, her muscle tone improved significantly, and she had more energy than she had in a decade. So, what should you do instead? First, eat your last substantial meal at least three to four hours before bedtime to give your body time to digest properly. Second, if you get hungry in the evening, opt for a light, easily digestible snack like a small handful of almonds or a piece of fruit rather than a heavy meal that will disrupt your sleep and muscle recovery. Now that you know the five dangerous habits that are sabotaging your muscle building efforts, I have a question for you. Which of these damaging habits have you been unknowingly doing before eating your fiber-rich foods? Drop a comment below and let me know. Um, I read every single one and I'm genuinely curious about your experiences. If you're serious about finally building the strong muscles you deserve at your age, I've created something special just for you. My 30-day muscle building meal plan contains over 93 high fiber meals and nutrient rich recipes that work together to maximize your muscle growth. You'll find the link to this comprehensive meal plan in my pinned comment or in the description below. But here's something even more exciting. Tomorrow, I'm revealing a secret that will completely change how you think about building arm strength. This ancient technique has been clinically proven to increase muscle activation by 34% without any exercise whatsoever. I can only share this information with my subscribers first. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do it now. You don't want to miss tomorrow's video. Trust me, this secret will shock you and I guarantee you've never heard it anywhere else. See you soon.